The Way to Dine Awards has been renamed. It used to be called the Most Memorable Meals Awards. And it was designed to salute restaurants who really catered to visitors because Where Magazine is actually a visitor publication. A lot of people didn't really understand that because they're so used to awards being done by the city of Vancouver residents. So this is different. It's about people who come to Vancouver and their experience. And we felt it was really important to recognize the restaurants who went over and above their level of service to please people. This is the 18th year, I think. I've lost count. It's always been very well attended. People like it because it's uh, no nonsense. We don't take a lot of time. We just give the awards out and we have a good time, a few glasses of wine, and then people go back to work. And how many awards do you, how many categories? There are 21 or now 22 categories with some special ones. And uh, they cover all the various styles of cuisine, formal, informal, ethnic styles. And uh, yeah, it's fantastic. It's a real, you know, it's a real celebration of the diversity that we have here in Vancouver. God, as you probably all know, has uh, retired this year from the active business. Forty years in the restaurant industry is not a short innings, but when those four decades span more less than 11 restaurants, you know that someone's been busy. Everything accounted, but is sanguine when he suggests that eight have been successful, like in the trend that 85% of all independent restaurants fail in the first five years. Can you rattle off the restaurants that you? Yeah, sure. Canary, Mulvaney, uh, Carlos and Vance, Viva, Confetti, Sizzler. Let's go, let's go for it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Jump on his videos and goldfish. The world now belongs to the young innovator. And uh, I'm waving for a while. And we have Green Award, a Sustainable Award, Seafood Award. So we try and keep pace with what's happening and encourage that.